in video five of my replace Lodash with vanilla JavaScript video series, I had mentioned that you can destructure JavaScript arrays as well as object literals. So it's only fair that I show you how to do that. So the lesson plan for this video is thus. I'm going to talk about the origin of uh, destructuring object, how to destructure arrays, obviously, uh, how to give uh, the destructure element an, uh, an alias, and how to destructure nested arrays. So destructuring concept is not unique to JavaScript. Um, it actually came from the concept of unpacking objects in classical C. Uh, if you use the uh, JVM, which is to say Java Virtual Machine Language called Clojure, it uh, has the concept of destructuring in it as well. So uh, the concept of destructuring uh, has occurred in other languages long before it was ever introduced to JavaScript, uh, ES6+. So let's just get right into it. So uh, to destructure an array, and, so, and how you can relate this to the real world is, let's say you're using React hooks, okay? And you see this concept uh, quite a bit in React hook. So let's say you want to, let's say you're using React hook and you want to uh, destructure these uh, method within hooks, okay? Use effect, use hooks, uh, use ref, etc., etc. So how you would do that is you would declare um, const or let or whatever, um, and then you would give it uh, your org reference name for each of these elements. So let's say for use effect, I would use, use something like uh, call effect or whatever makes the most sense to you. Uh, in React Hook, you actually use you actually destructure use effect itself from the use effect method inside of hooks. Hook or ref, okay, and tell it where to destructure that from, in this case it's React hooks. Okay, and then now we can console out uh, uh, each one of these. Okay, so there you go. All right, let's comment that out. And now we let's go. Um, the one thing that uh, kind of might be useful to you guys is to uh, Give um, a naming alias, uh, just you know, just just to manage your own mental state, um, or you know, better manage the mental model of what the object looks like for your team and for yourself. So, let's say we are trying to um, get John Snow's name out, and we and we want to call refer to John Snow by his title. So. We get the name, okay, in outside of, from the object, and we'll alias it as Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. All right, and, uh, from of course from Westerosi, which is the name of the object, and then from here we console dot log out Lord Commander Night Watch. And we get John Snow, which is this here, and you can you know alias any any of this. All right, let's comment that out as well. Um, so how would you access nested array? Something like something like that. Well, it's actually it's quite simple. You know, it's not hard at all. Um, so let's do. Um, oh, by the way, so let's pretend like you have an IoT device here. Okay. And then you can, uh, it's the same syntax as um, anything else. Pretty easy. Get the ID of the device, um, device data. Get the object here. Get the firmware version. Get the lat attitude, longitude, commands for the device. Okay, let's make this look nice.
whatever your you know whatever uh, syntax you're comfortable with there, whatever format you're comfortable with, and then we can console the log out. Um, I don't know uh, the commands. That's your command. Uh, let's say you want the uh, firmware. There's your firmware version. You, you guys know what I, where I'm going with this, right? So it's not really that hard. That's your lat long. Okay, um, let's see what else I need to tell you about this. Yeah, hopefully this will uh, help you replace some of the uh, Lodash methods that, are, that you're using and just uh, general development in general. You know, I, I, I reference Redux and uh, React in these videos, but you know, you can use these, these um, concepts in any framework or library. Good luck.